Hello everyone, I'm Alice and he's Jamie <laughs> and this is Vietnam! So guys, here we are on a street food tour with a local from our hostel. Basically he's going to show us all the cool spots to eat and basically so you can come here and not get you know not get a dodgy tummy yeah because we know from personal experience the best way to experience the country <coughs> is by the food tour it's through, it's through alice's belly so as long as <laughs> alice is happy we're happy so let's go and find the good food and then we'll meet you we'll show you the, the tour guide once we get there so yeah, see you in a bit This is the number one for the store for the tour today for some bún cha of bún cha Obama. We call bún cha Obama because just three years ago when Obama came here, he went out like today and spread very shampoo and very like very friendly and he tried some bún cha. And from that time we call bún cha Obama. Bún, it means the rice noodle. It means everything made from rice cha. It's made from like real pork. It's like pork barbecue with some uh, this on like a green papaya for the carrot some garlic, fish oil, sugar and vinegar. How to eat this? You have to put the rice noodle inside the soup, mix it together and this is like the mint coriander and that is if you love it you can put inside and mix it together by the side because I'm not sure you love the vegetable or not it's you can and then mix it up together. For this one you don't need garlic, you don't need chili because have everything already and mix it up together and enjoy, enjoy please. Thank you. Where's your ethnic language? My language? Yeah, my language like a... Tastes a bit like meatball. Oh, so it's like in the country. Guys, this, this, this meal here is only 40,000 dong. So 40,000 dong is... Ding! Tasty. Right, hello everyone. So this is our Vietnamese tour guide for the day. His name is Ken, but his Vietnamese name is... Zung. Zung. So, Welcome to Vietnam. Go. Cool. Yes guys, so that was the Bun Chao Obama, pork with noodles, it's 40,000 dong, very nice, uh, rate it out of 10, Alice? I'd say about an 8. Yeah, I'll give it an 8, you know what, that was tasty, cheap, less, than, like less than a pound, yeah, it tastes like meatballs, even though it's pork. Anyways, stick around to the end of the video because we're going to try the famous Vietnamese egg coffee Ooh. right at the end. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And leave like us, button. Yeah, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of the vlog so far. Let us know where you're from, if you've ever been to Vietnam. And so, ding on that bell. And ding on the bell. And yeah, let's go to the second stop where we're trying race, race? <laughs> rice, rice, rice pancakes. Ooh. Rice pancakes. Ooh. <laughs> Today with some rice pancake in Vietnamese we call bánh cuốn, yeah, no, no, and this one is very similar to the dim sum or chung fan in China. You know, chung fan and dim sum China is very very similar. And this one in Hanoi, in in. This feels very local. Hey man. Funny now, right, sir? <laughs> I've actually made it on that already. Some people from Holland they do like the turtle. They're too small here. Everything is narrow. Right, so I have the rice pancake with beef in them, and Jamie's got it with shrimp and beef. Shrimp and beef, you've got beef. So, what do you do? How do you eat it? Go. Uh, you uh, pick it up like this. <laughs> I can't use chopsticks, so bear with. <laughs> And then you dunk it. Yeah, dip in the fish sauce. Yeah. And, and then, then you eat go it. Yeah. and bite it. 
How is it? Mm. Look. Okay. No chocolate, not birthday donuts, and it's very, very different. We have something, everything else I made from stick rice flour. And firstly, this one, this one we call pillow cake because the shape outside the cake is look like a pillow for sleeping, but inside different, not the feather of the animal. Inside, we have some pork, mushroom, noodle, onion, carrot, papaya, and some sausage. Some sausage. And this one we call sweet donut. When you walk around the city, you can see some ladies, they try to give you something, try to give you this one. Inside, we have some green bean and sugar. And this one from very special in Vietnamese people, we love this one with some beer. We call sao nam or sao spring roll. It's made from pork. You have to cut the pork, put inside banana leaf with some vinegar and some salt. We wrap it together during about one month, one, oh no, sorry, about a few days, and then it becomes sour and fry it out. I say sour spring roll, but it's just sweet, not sour, not sour. And this one, crab and shrimp cake. And this one, crab and shrimp spring roll. It has crab, shrimp, mushroom, noodle, and onion. And pork mixed together and this one for the salty donut inside same to this one but outside like more thicker flavor and how to eat this one take this deep inside salt and eat it with for the sweet donut I, I want to recommend to try this one at the end like for the dessert like for the dessert okay and for this one if you don't like chopstick hand is okay I think hand it is easier take it and leave it and eat it enjoy it together okay. so, let's go for some pillow cake yeah in there pillow cake <laughs> Here we go. Need it a half? I have a cool man, so I think. Yeah, what do you mean? Spring roll. Yeah, sour spring roll. Sour spring roll. Sour, spring roll. sour. sour but not sour. Yeah. Sour spring roll, and it's the pillow cake. It's like savory. I like it. It's less nice, less nice. Mmm. This reminds me of a Cornish pasty at home. Good though. Well, is this the sour spring roll? Yeah. Sour spring roll? You have to dip it in this, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Oh, oh my god, guys. That was, uh, that was a so, lot of food. so filling. All of that plate there was cost you about £1.50 each person. Yep. So many donuts, spring rolls, Cornish pasties. So much. And a good thing about this tour that we feel is it's like a proper local little tour. Like, yeah. if you look over there right now, you wouldn't even notice that there was a shop back there. That's why, by the way, I'm pinning all these places on Google Maps. So if you click the link below there, Google Maps, it'll bring up all the locations of all the places. So you can go and visit these places yourself, all right, guys? So he said the next stop, the next stop, we're going to go for dumplings and then. Uh, after that, we're going to go for egg coffee. Egg Final coffee. egg coffee, the famous <laughs> Vietnamese egg coffee. So, let's go and get some dumplings for Alice's belly. I don't know if I can barely more stuff in. She's yeah, so full already, but Okay, so this one we call like the dumpling. It is very, very similar to the pao in China. And in Vietnamese, we call bánh, bánh bao, one of the local and traditional food in Hanoi. And we're gonna try one stay here. And one for each is okay? One for each or do you want to yeah, share? One, one, each, one, one each is okay, one each. Okay, yeah. Hey guys, I could even share with bad guys. One each, one each. I don't know if I'm gonna fit that in. If I cannot finish, I can share first and then it'll take away. It's, easy. it's better, uh, I can eat later. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Yeah, okay. because I don't want waste, you know. And this one for you. Mm. <laughs> this one inside was awesome. Right, guys, here we are on outside our last stop where the egg coffee is. But first, we need to try the buns and see what they're like. So, girls? Yeah. Cheers! Yeah. <laughs> try the buns, let me know what they're like. I'll eat my hand. <laughs> Oh look! There's meat in there. Egg. Yeah, the egg. What's in it anyway? What's in it? Quail egg. Quail egg. Egg. Quail egg. Quail egg. Quail egg. Quail egg. Mushroom, noodle, onion, and pork mixed oh together. Break it open, Alice. 
Oh, there's actually eggs in there. Yeah, there's an egg in there. Quail, on the right hand. Yeah. Quail, egg, noodles. Noodles, pork, and mushroom. Black mushroom. Yeah. yeah. Two so eggs in, in each. Yeah. Oh, big bite. Just, just putting your finger in my bun. When you first take another big bite, let me know what you feel. Out of ten? Mm. Out of ten, one, one to ten, rate it. Yeah. Go. Ten. With ten. a paper. <laughs> she rates it. Oh, he dropped, oh, he dropped the next okay, okay. Go on. One to ten. It's actually not bad. I'm going to rate it about an eight. An eight. Yeah. <laughs> So the, the girls are rating like hi highly of their buns. They're rating their buns very highly. So now we're outside the famous egg coffee stop. Remember, guys, all these links are down below in the description. So, wait, so this one is the from 1946. Yeah, 1946. From 1946, pretty much every Vietnamese local comes here. It's the Mostly best. everywhere right <coughs> It's on TripAdvisor. It's called Cafe Din Din. Up there, have a look. Let's go. Let's go and get the coffee. Guys, you would never know that there's a cafe here. Look. It looks like a bag shop. You walk in through a bag shop, it's a local coffee shop. How cool is this? Cafe Din. Look at these little like motorbikes. And up some stairs. And up some stairs. These are going up like the steepest stairs in the world, man. Like a very busy place, so a lot of people come to. Right, so the grandfather of this shop worked as a coffee cappuccino maker before the war and then when the war happened they didn't have enough milk or sugar afterwards so he decided to put egg in coffee and boom! Yeah guys, it was a bit crazy all them little secret, secret little shops and that. This, this man's been trying to get us on his little bicycle tour for a while, but no, we've already, we're about to go on our own bicycle tour with our hostel. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching the food tour. Click down here to subscribe. And leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like the video. And yeah guys, so thank and you. And ding on that bell. Thank you for watching. We love you all. See you in a jiffy.